Hello and welcome. We're ready for Sunday afternoon football. Football back at the MCG. A bit of cloud cover overhead for today's encounter. The light rain might make the ball a bit hard to grab. With me in the box for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, guests. What a game we have here today, Hutto. It's been quite a build-up for this one. Today we have Carlton coming up against North Melbourne. Run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The champions you North Melbourne is the team that plays to win for you. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out winners today. Full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains prepare for the toss of the coin. Carlton winning the toss. Can't wait for this one to begin, and I think the crowd would agree too. They are on the edge of their seats. Wins the ruck duel. Pollock brushed off easily. Releases the handball. Hands that ball to the opposition. Silvani going for number one. Listen to the fans celebrate as he drives that through. Yes, I know. His teammates rush over. Carlton gets the first. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. He did really well there and gets the reward. Pittnett won it down. Murphy quickly onto the boot. The ball mopped up. Kicks hurriedly. A good mark under the circumstances. Kick by O'Brien. Great grab. McGovern moves it now. Doherty takes the mark. Go for distance with the kick. Martin looks to get onto the football. Gives the old, don't argue. McMillan with the intercept. Silvani collects it. Drop punt straight through the middle. Puts his second on the board. Gets a reward for his efforts. That's two in a row for Carlton. A hot start from Carlton. That's a really good team goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Pittnett hurls it away. The ball spills to Cunnington. Hurried kick. Gathers it now. Silvani slams it onto the boot. Jones going for number one. He'll be kicking himself for missing that. Carlton getting the fast start. Goldstein looking for options now. Decides to play on. Clearing kick out of the defensive 50. It's a foot race to get this one. Murphy dug out the loose ball. Paul gets on the end of that handball. Paul just threw it. <laughs> Silvani with a chance for a third goal today. The drop pipe goes straight between the big sticks. This one gives them a bigger lead. Smiles all round. Carlton could kick the last three goals. Great start by Carlton. 
Carlton aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Good mark and looks to send it back with a driving kick. Takes that one strongly. The distance might be just beyond him. Martin going for number one. And pumps it through the big sticks. No doubt about it. Look at them celebrate that effort. Carlton looking good early on. Tap came from Goldstein. Murphy slips the tackler. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Dumont puts it on the boot. Drops the ball quickly onto the boot. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Cunnington runs them down. Constant pressure and rewarded. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Murphy now heading to the bench for a break. Doherty elects to kick. Open opportunity for Simpson. Elects to kick it long. Ahern found a way to mark that one. A low stabbing kick. Marks that ball uncontested. Testing shot outside 50. Brown gets in a good position. 50 metres out. He goes it alone. Just couldn't get it to curve enough. Would have loved to nail that chance. North Melbourne produced the margin. Carlton have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. That's why they're still in front. Tyson with the opportunity at goal. 45 degree angle. Going for goal number one. A disappointing kick lets them down there. North Melbourne now only trailed by 23. He gives chase to the footy. Just got the hands in the back there. Uses it across half back. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Simpson, one out in the square. Anderson runs after this one. At full stride, receives the handball. While kicks hurriedly. Nice mark under pressure. Carlton have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Carlton starting to break away. Looking for options now. Walker decides to go to himself. Looks up with a kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. A 45 degree angle for this shot at goal. Going for goal number one. He delivers with a drop pass. This lead getting bigger now. He loved that one. Carlton took five unanswered goals. The margin is good. Punches are clear. Trying to avoid everything out there. Higgins just dismissed the tackler. Does well to cut off the kick. Carlton are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Turned it over. Cripps just gets it onto the boot. Finds this one all by himself. The ball goes over the boundary near the 50. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Silvani looking for another goal here. No issues with that drop punt. This kick has extended their lead. He's enjoying that goal. The lead is now 36. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That's a really good team goal. Won it down. Walsh scrapped it clean. Now we'll get a ball up. Won the hit out. Is in his possession. Cunnington a bit too casual with the tackle. 
McKay didn't mark it. Thank you, guys. I've had it. Clears the contest. Has it now. Higgins releases the ball. Cripps puts on a big hit. Fighting hard was Zeeble. He has the ball. The umpire calls for it. Goldstein aims for his man on the ground. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The scores the are Blues, 38, North Melbourne, 2. Carlton got up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. Anything you can see, Gary? North Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Slapped away. The ball spills in the tackle. Looking to kick goal number two. Takes an uncontested mark. Moves the ball by foot. William gets on the end of this. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Carlton, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Hurried kick. A clean collect. Walsh just put it on the boot. Just put it on the boot. Mops up the loose ball. Gets his hands on the ball. He was celebrating that goal the moment it left his boot. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Doherty enjoying that goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Carlton getting plenty of possessions at the moment. Slapped away. Did well not to confuse himself. The mark is taken by Jones. Carlton have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. He gives it a ride. Cripps doesn't even come close. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. Puts boot to ball. Tara found some space and marked. Kicks it out of the defensive 50. A chance to reload the attack now. Looks to move it by foot. Good mark and looks to send it back. Carlton just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Williams sends one up towards the wing. Marks all alone. Sinks the slipper into it. Pollock looking to track down the footy. Lobs the handball. Dorr finds possession. Takes a strong mark. Handballs. Quick hands. And there could be a way here. He drives it. Walker collects the loose ball, putting his skills on display. Drives it out of the pack. Marking in space was Marchbank. Manages to get a hand to it. Ahern gets on the end of this, and the mark will be paid. Jacobs decides to play on. They are desperate for a goal now. Long kick there. Will it go all the way? It does. He puts through his first goal. Boy, did they ever need that. Look at them celebrate that effort. One down. He gains possession. Contests the hard ball. Put his body on the line. Hits him hard. Keeps it moving. Marks now and can send it back. Nunes uses it by foot. Collected by Doherty. Hacking it out of there. Intercepts the ball well. Uses it now. 
Garner determined to reach the ball. Higgins, interesting handball. Gives it to McGovern. A lot of possessions for him. Going for goal number one. A mighty effort from there. And it's a goal. This kick stretches the lead. Cripps celebrating hard. Carlton with a handy break. They lead North Melbourne. 50 to 8. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Cruiser won the duel. Slams it onto the boot. Jones going for number one. He's excited about that one. He's enjoying every second of it out there. This kick puts them further into the lead. Congratulated by his teammates. Guided down nicely by Cruiser. Rushes with the kick. March back goes off the ground. Atley powers through in style. Ball collected, dishes it off, receives the handball and takes off. Finds a bit of room to mark. And the chance at goal is taken by North Melbourne. And that goal keeps some hope alive. They get around him after that effort. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. North Melbourne are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. It's a turnover. Dorr gives the don't argue. He flicks it over. Murphy finds a way to hang on. Showing some really good pressure there. Spent that one before he earned it. Applies a bump. Anderson gets the loose ball. He sums up the situation and delivers. Of course, Hunter. Celebrating hard. North Melbourne close the gap to 36. Goldstein farmed it down. Dumont pushes his opponent off with one hand. Goes by hand. Penetrating handball. Silvani took his eyes off the ball. Pollock decides to soccer it. Didn't get away from that tackle. Great tackling there, Hutto. Going for goal number one. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Gets him reward for his efforts. North Melbourne produced the margin. Goldstein with the hit. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Good mark by Zeebel. Got boot to ball. And now we'll have a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Cruiser throws the ball away. Massive kick here. They need to convert this opportunity. Out on the full. Clears the danger for now. An intriguing first half as it stands. Carlton 56, Lake North Melbourne 26. A good first half from Carlton. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Time to take a look at the stats. The Blues are winning plenty of the ball at the moment and it's allowing them to create plenty of scoring opportunities. Thanks, Gary. It's half time and no doubt the coaches will want to have a chat to their teams about their first half performance. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Thump clear. Cripps charges with intent. Picked up by Cunnington. Jamont gathers it now. Pittnet gets a quick kick away. Murphy hacking it out of there. Gathered by Walker. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. Casbol going for number one. He loved that one. Now they lead by 36. 
Won the hit out. Wasting a lot of effort there. Brown, hurried kick. Does well to cut off the kick. Looks to move it by foot. Well, she wells to win that ball. Alex to kick. Doherty couldn't snaffle it. Cripps is blowing hard after that effort. At full stride, receives the handball. Tarrant gathers it now. Simpson takes it strongly. Slams it on the boot. Finds a target. Goes with the kick. Takes the mark all by himself. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. Murphy doesn't connect well at all. It doesn't score. He's put it out on the full. Moves the ball out of defence. Brown takes the mark. Punches the kick. McGovern had it, lost it, receives the handball and takes off. He gets another possession. Gets it out of congestion. Silvani hangs on to that one. He drives it. Kerno looking to track down the footy. Just threw the ball. Paulson gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Big kick required from this distance. The kick will be from a 45-degree angle. Kerno goes for home. Carlton finds a way to get that one through. That's his first. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. The margin is 42. Swats it. He wins possession. Cunnington receives the ball. Here's Kennedy. Takes possession. Racking up possessions now. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. A big contested grab. Uses it now. Cleanly picked up. The handball hits the target. Ends up turning this ball over. O'Brien kicks it. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Kicks hurriedly. An easy grab for Jacobs. Slick with the hands. Dumont has put it on the boot. It's offline. A goal there. Could have got them going. North Melbourne behind by 41. Unsure of their next move. Bonner wins the foot race. Finds the loose ball. Dumont heading to the bench. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. Hammers it. They can create from this. Higgins puts another one through. His teammates rush over. Margin in a really tricky situation. Pittnett won the hit out. Cripps slams it onto the boot. McGovern spent it before he earned it. Needs a bit of a rest. The kick goes out on the fall from McMillan. Puts boot to ball. Dug out the loose ball. McDonald quickly onto the boot. He's the number one ranked player on the ground. He's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. The ball spills to Garner. The ball goes over the boundary in the pocket. Ball tossed back in. Dug out by Batley. He slams it towards goal. He pops through the goal. The Ruse badly needed that one. He's enjoying that goal. North Melbourne now only trailed by 29. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Pitnett clears the contest. Wiedering has the ball. Doing well to intercept that kick. Carlton are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Punches are clear. 
is in his possession. He's got the football now. Just gave it away. Ghana just threw it. Uses it by foot. Found space for an easy mark. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. That goal is a cracker. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Ghana. Fighting hard to get back in this game. Thumps it clear. With the ball is Nunes. Quickly onto the boot. Mugabe spills it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Couldn't take it. McMillan not getting much of it, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. With quick hands. Just goes bang. McDonald contests the hard ball. Carlton just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Jacobs couldn't keep his hands on it. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Gets the loose ball. Decides to soccer it. Goes off the ground. Uses the buff. Hall gets the ball out of heavy traffic. O'Brien soccers it forward. Carlton ahead going into the final term. They lead by 23. Carlton fans will be hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. Well, both sides finding plenty of scoring opportunities that term. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. Carlton leading the contested ball numbers. It's always the starting point for a coach to find how well they attack the con. Last quarter action, ready to go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Pitnett just swats it away. Tackle locks the ball loose. He looks like he needs a spell. Walsh gets the loose ball. Missed the target. Round now. That is a stunning goal. Smiles all round. Margin within touching distance. Thump by Pittenet. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Higgins moves it now. Intercepted. That's holding the ball. Jamon hunting with authority. Great tackling technique. Brown doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. Going for goal number two. Darts it through for another. Brown celebrates with the fans. That's five in a row for North Melbourne. It's under two goals now. Winning it was Pittenet. Just gets it onto the boot. Couldn't snaffle it. Cruiser sticks the tackle. Outstanding pressure. Simpson goes with the kick. A solid mark from Paulson. Gets a hand in. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Couldn't quite with the mark. And the umpire says, my ball. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Kick by Simpson. Winning the ball in the air was Kurno. Puts it on the boot. Marks in a bit of space. And the umpire will ball it up. Thrashes it. Zebel collects the loose ball with a driving kick. Intercepted by Cruiser. He lays off the pass. Kennedy rushes with the kick. Hands it out to open space. Casbolt just goes bang. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Goldstein gets onto the ball. Gets it away. With the ball now. Has it now. A chance to put a second goal on the board. The drop pass goes straight between the big sticks. Pretty happy with that one. The Blues with the ascendancy over North Melbourne. Leading 74 to 57. Adley with a 
a big fist on it. Just dismisses his opponent. He has to hold on to those. Collects the loose ball. Taken by Kurno. Nails the goal. They stretch their lead with that effort. He celebrates hard after that. Carlton beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 80 to 57. This is how they can score big cut up. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Carlton are doing a good job at cutting off the opposition attacks. Their intercept game is a key part of their defence. Moved on by Brown. Gathered by Marchbank. He looks like he needs a spell. Giving it off was O'Brien. Kennedy having an impact again. He's been superb today, Hutto. Has a runner alongside him. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. He's setting the example at the moment. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Can't take the mark. Ball gets cut off. Just through the ball. Martin drives a low kick. Gets a quick kick away. Bonner uses it by foot. Goes off the deck and through. Jacobs gets his third. He acknowledges the crowd. North Melbourne still within touching distance. Pittenet thrashes it. Applies a bump. He can take off after that handball. Simpson controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Got boot to ball. Looks like the ball will be coming back. The kick from Tyson. A strong mark in the pack from Higgins. So what can North Melbourne do with this opportunity in front of goal? Takes it well. 35 metres out. Walker with a pretty easy kick. Going for goal number one. Unbelievable effort, and it ends with a goal. He's excited about that one. North Melbourne could kick back-to-back -back goals. Just under two goals, the difference now. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Some great ball movement there. He just knew they were going to score. The Roos could give themselves plenty of chances. They've got more marks inside 50. It's their finishing skills that's letting them down. Tyson Bucks. Carlton haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Doing well to intercept that kick. Puts the handball out in front. Brown does get the handball away. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Spears the ball. The ball ends up going to ground. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Drops the mark. Kept alive under pressure. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Receives the handball and takes off. Martin wins the ball in the air. Carlton are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Good mark and looks to send it back. Goes by foot. Nobody can hold on here. Williams needs to lead. He's barely touched the ball lately. Couldn't keep the ball in play. Thrown in now. Pittnet thumps it clear. Handball's under pressure. Anderson read it best. Wiedering with a penetrating handball. Cruiser kicks hurriedly. Adley drops the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Runs it over the boundary line. Umpire tosses it in. Dropped the mark he should have taken. Has to do better in that mark contest. Adley puts it on the boot. Scoops up the ball. I hope that's not serious. He looks to be in a lot of pain. I think the doctor will be taking a close look at that one. Sinks the slipper into it. Garnett determined to reach the ball. Brilliant chase. Doing well was Cannington. Punched away. This is Bonner. Carlton fans rejoice after a great performance here today. Your final word on today's game, Gary. 
both sides had their chances to stamp their authority on this one, but in the end, it was the finishing skills inside 50 that gave us the result. Well, much appreciated, Gaz. The final scores are in. Carlton 80, North Melbourne 11, 3, 69. That's all for today. On behalf of myself, Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.